I am very, very impressed with Live Portrait video to video. So Live Portrait just released video to video support and it's absolutely amazing. I recently made a video about Live Portrait that lets you animate any still image using any other video. So you can use audio as well, so you can have it say or sing or do whatever you want. Now they release their video support, meaning you can take any video of any person and make it say anything you're saying. So if you already have Live Portrait installed, I'm gonna show you quickly how to update it. If you don't have it installed, check out my other video about Live Portrait, it's linked in the card up top. So to update it, if we're in our Live Portrait folder, go into the other Live Portrait folder your main folder and we're just going to open up our command prompt here so just click in the address bar again type cmd hit enter and now we are in the live portrait folder now this is really quick and easy all you have to do is type in git pull origin main so hit enter on that if you get this error saying your local changes to the following files will be overwritten we can just delete that file that it says so it says in source live portrait pipeline.py so we'll just delete that one and then we'll run the prompt again git pull origin main there we go so now it has replaced that and replaced all the files with fresh ones so then we want to open our virtual environment so all you have to do is type in ven backslash scripts backslash activate hit enter now you're in your virtual environment and now we're almost there now we have to install one little thing which is pycalman not sure how you pronounce that but all you have to do is type in pip space install space pycalman hit enter and then it's installed pycalman if we take a look at the github of live portrait and we go into the update that says portrait video editing is now available you will see that you need to have that pykelman package installed which we now have now we can open the program and it should be updated all you have to do is type in python space app.py hit enter give it a second and there we have it it'll give us our local url so just highlight that Control c and paste that into any browser and here we go here is our updated live portrait that includes video. So let's try this with one of the example videos here. But this is the source video. Very simple video, of course. I'll try with some other ones soon. And here we can actually use our webcam. So let's try that for this time. Let's give it access. So I haven't tried this yet. Obviously, I'll blur my camera. Now I see the FPS is really low on this. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's only the preview. Let's hope. So let's give this a go. Let's start recording. Hey, so this is me testing it out, moving my head up and down making a bit of a weird face. There we go, stop recording. Okay, so if we scroll down, there's a few options here. First of all, this one, you wanna check this one if the source video is not square, which it is not, so we wanna keep that checked. And the same for this one, if the driving video, which we just created, is not square, you also wanna hit that. So let's hit that. And then the last option here you wanna check is relative head rotation. You wanna pretty much always enable that. If you don't have that enabled, the head in the output video will remain stationary and won't move, so it'll look a bit weird. So just keep that how it is, turn that on, and now we're gonna hit animate. Okay, so in the command prompt, I can see that the video we just made with my webcam, it says the FPS is 1000 compared to the 30 of the source video, which is not good. You wanna have these the same and 1000 is insane. So I don't know why that is the case. So I'm just gonna kill this quickly. That was lagging my whole computer out. I'm just gonna restart this. So I'm just gonna do the same video again. There we go. So if we check out this video and go to properties and details, we can see it is already 30 frames per second. If it's not the same frame rate as your source video, you can just throw it into any video editor, like DaVinci Resolve, which is free. I use Filmora and Premiere Pro, mainly Filmora. And then you can just throw the video in there, no matter what the FPS is, and then export it with the FPS you want. So anyway, we're gonna go back into Live Portrait and start this up again. All right, so here we are again. Go back to the source video, choose that same video there, and I just dragged my new video into that. Turn on the head rotation again and animate this again, see if it works now. Now if we open the command prompt, we can see both FPSs are the same, which is good. There we go, it's cropped the video, it's doing its thing. So obviously the lower the video quality, the faster this will go. This is taking my GTX 1080 about one and a half minutes apparently. And that's with this video, the source video being 720p and the driving video I made being 1080p. And here's our output video. So let's take a look. So I'm just gonna record this video again. This is me talking, moving my head up and down, making some weird faces. 
Okay, so it's a bit weird. I think because at the beginning, yeah, so I should have, when you record your video, you should make sure that the first few frames is you just in the middle with a neutral face. As you can see, it is really impressive with the eyebrows and the eyes looking and the head movement, I think is really impressive. The mouth opening works really well. Look at that. That's amazing. So I'm just going to redo that video one more time to show you to see if this actually will make a difference. So let's hit animate again because I just tried it again and for some reason the Windows camera app changed the FPS to 24. So I just went into my video editor and exported the same video, but with 30 FPS. All right, let's take a look. So this is me testing the live portrait video to video feature. And I am very, very impressed. Wow, that's really good. That's amazing. I am very, very impressed with live portrait video to video. That's so good. All right, let's try it with this short three second dancing video I found. That should be interesting. I am very, very impressed with live. I am very, very impressed with live portrait video to video. That's a bit of a harder one because he was moving a lot in that video. Anyway, if you're still watching, you'll probably like these videos as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.